two gun-related homicides in Quincy exactly seven days apart. Now community members are once again trying to understand the reasoning and how to prevent shootings in their quiet town. Welcome to ABC 27's News at 630. I'm Gabriella Mercurio. Tonight, ABC 27's Micah Cho brings us more from Quincy City Hall on those shootings. He also talked with a family member of one of the victims of Saturday night's homicide. The recent violence comes just months after cities across Gadsden County saw an increase in crime in late June, and that includes two home invasions in Gadsden County, one in the city of Quincy, the other in Midway. For this past week's shootings, at around 940 Friday night, an 18-year-old girl and two passengers were in a car off of South 9th Street and West Crawford Street in Quincy. A car came up from behind them, then got beside their vehicle and started shooting. The 18-year-old girl died at the scene, the two passengers were not injured. Exactly one week ago, just a half mile away from the most recent shooting off of West Jefferson and South Jackson Street, Quincy police found a man lying beside his vehicle that was hit multiple times by gunshots. These two shootings concerning for community organizers like Tracy Stallsworth. He's been putting in work through the community events to help bring down violence and crime in Gadsden County. Stallsworth told me that the most recent Quincy shooting was a family member. Stalworth says the two homicides, however, will accelerate the community leaders' efforts to keep neighbors in Quincy and Gazin County safe. Uh, there is a little worry, there is a little doubt uh, about what's really happening in Quincy. Um, when I was talking to com some community people yesterday, you know, their concern is, you know, will we be safe? You know, their concern is walking down the street, uh, going to the gas station, going to a store, and they're in fear right now because they don't want to be hit by a bullet. They don't want to be killed. The Quincy Police Department will be addressing the recent crimes here in the city at City Hall at around 1 o'clock on Monday. For now, in Quincy, Micah Cho, ABC 27. For both shooting incidents, Quincy police say that they have persons of interest. There's no word at this time if the two shootings were connected.